The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier. Our first reading is taken from the book of the Acts of the Apostles. One day Peter stood up to speak to the brothers. There were about 120 people in the congregation. Brothers, he said, the passage of Scripture had to be fulfilled in which the Holy Spirit, speaking through David, foretells the fate of Judas, who acted as guide to the men who arrested Jesus. After being one of our number and sharing our ministry. Now in the book of Psalms it says, reduce his encampment to ruin and leave his tent unoccupied. And again, let someone else take over his office. Out of the men who have been with us the whole time that the Lord Jesus was living with us, from the time when John was baptizing until the day when he was taken up from us, one must be appointed to serve with us as a witness to his resurrection. Having nominated two candidates, Joseph, known as Basabas, whose surname was Justice, and Matthias, they prayed. Lord, you can read everyone's heart. Show us, therefore, which of these two you have chosen to take over this ministry and apostolate, which Judas abandoned to go to his proper place. They then drew lots for them, and as the lot fell to Matthias, he was listed as one of the twelve apostles. And our response is taken from Psalm 113. Alleluia. Praise servants of Yahweh, praise the name of Yahweh. Blessed be the name of Yahweh, henceforth and forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praised be the name of Yahweh. Supreme over all the nations is Yahweh. Supreme over the heavens, His glory. Who is like Yahweh our God? His throne is set on high, but He stoops to look down on heaven and earth. He raises the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy from the dunghill to give them a place among princes, among princes of his people. In a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, Jesus said, I have loved you just as the Father has loved me. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my own joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. No one can have greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I shall no longer call you servants because a servant does not know the master's business. I call you friends because I've made known to you everything I've learned from my Father. You did not choose me. No, I chose you. And I commissioned you to go out and to bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you anything you ask him in my name. My command to you is to love one another. The Gospel of the Lord.